to the program on CNBC Africa First with Business Worldwide. Well, executive pay is increasingly coming under scrutiny from shareholders, investors and other stakeholders, most notably uh, unions. But the pay of the likes of Johan Rupert and Marius Kloppers continues to grow, even with labor unrest crippling the economy. But who is the best paid executive on a, of a JSE-listed company? It is not Whitey Besson, who's pretty well paid. He's, a, mm -hmm. in the, he's in the the top ranks. It's not Johan Rupert, who's in the top ranks. And you can understand why he can afford to take a year off. Mm -hmm. But it's one guy by the name of Richard Le Peu. <laughs> or something along those lines. We're doing accents this evening. We're doing <laughs> it's Accent <laughs> Thursday. Bad Accent Thursday. Richard Lepo, um, he is a director of Richemont. Never heard of him. Well, they actually refer to these people as master, but I think they use the French terminology. Mm -hmm. I had to go look it up. They was like, what does that word mm -hmm. mean? Master. So they're like master of the maison. Oh. Uh, oui. yeah, of course, yeah. which of course they work for. Now, I think what people got to remember is Richemont's not a South African company. We yes. just have access to it here. It's a Swiss company. And for me, it's a shareholder issue. And who owns all the shares? Mr. Well, who owns the voting rights? He yes. owns 10% of the company, but in terms of uh, the voting rights, he owns uh, 50 plus one. So. But they, I mean, the margins in this business are so fantastic that it can afford to carry the following wage bill. So you've got Richard Le Peu, 50 million rand. You've got Johan Rupert at 40 million. Gary Sarge at 28 million. Frederick Mostad at 22 million. And Martha Wickstrom at 22 yeah. million. These are people you haven't really heard of in South Africa. because he never gives them a chance to speak. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't know, they don't have his broad vocabulary. That's and, right. and don't know Afrikaans swear words. What's that, 2 million Swiss francs? It yeah. may only be 2 million mm. Swiss francs, but we look at it. And uh, yeah. you've got executives earning all in excess of 20 million bucks. That's a big wage It's a bill. big, but this is a non-South African company. Yeah. This does absolutely no business. Where we can get angry is where companies are paying, where companies are operating here and mm. paying their directors offshore salaries. Mm. You know, that's, mm. I think that's where we can be. Okay, so you might can you look at the gold market, you can look at sure. all the okay, mining well, markets. Let's have so. a look at that. Mario Sklop has earned 31 million rand last year. Cynthia okay. Carroll, 24. Mm. But you could argue those aren't South African companies either. Still but who lot. was overpaid out of those two? Not Marius Kloppers. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, and then Anglo Gold Ashanti, Mark Kudifani, largely a South African company, 16 million rand. Yeah. It's worth making, taking the trip to London for an extra six. I'll take that. Uh, and then Marcus Uesta, also not a South African company, no. really, 15 million. Uh, but the one that I, I, I chuckle at a mm. little bit, uh, but it's a, it's a cynical chuckle, not a happy chuckle, uh, Jerome Smith from Sipla Medpro took home 14 million rand last year. Doesn't have a company anymore. Um, and as of last week, I, I, you know the, the week. hardest are the miners. I think Kutafani. I don't think you've got Nick Holland there, who was I think slightly higher than mm -hmm. uh, slightly higher than Kutafani. And the worry is, how do you, with a clear conscience, sit at the table and negotiate where a worker wants to get a few thousand? Wants rand, to get eight thousand as opposed to I think to that's 6, the hardest 000. thing. Mm. Yeah. You know, if if it was based on the profits, if there was some kind of agreement between them. Listen, if we get to this target, this is what you'll get, and this is what I'll get, fine. But, but, but now the gold industry, difficult. I mean, to add insult to injury, the gold industry comes out this week, or the, mm. the, the, the Chamber of Mines, and says, you know what, we're putting a wage off on the table. Here it is, 4%. Four. Four yeah. mm. uh, you know, you can, you, 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 can be you, as, know, uh, you can be as right wing as you like, but that's not an inflation the rate best, rate The increase. best description of, of all of this is one that I picked up at uh, one of the AGMs with Buffett. And he says the problem is on the, on the remuneration committee, we have Cocker Spaniels and not Dobermans. And it comes exactly down to that. When you're <laughs> negotiating that 4%, you spend weeks and weeks and weeks negotiating, fighting. When it comes to the MD salary CEOs, five minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, and that is a big problem. But, that's the but problem. Who appoints the people to oh, the shareholders? The board. The board. The board. The board. The, the, and who, they're accountable. And who, who influences the shareholders. the shareholders on the board? Yeah. Yeah, I the know executive what you mean. managers. Yeah. I mean, it's just uh, the, the club is still very, very strong. And if you're part very. of it, it's wonderful. That's why I have no respect for non executive directors because they're appointed by the board. They get big, big salaries. The last thing they want to do is rattle the cage mm. and lose that job and lose those fees because there's nothing nicer than being a director and just rocking up you know for i think you're being overly <laughs> cynical <laughs> no, 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 I, I, they will tell us the burden is huge i was having a look in the mtn <laughs> annual report and yeah. the only non-exec uh, better paid um, than cyril ramaphosa when he was there at the mm. time 
was one of the McCarty family. Mm -hmm. Now they own nine and a half percent of the business and MTN own a dividend yield of about five percent. Why would you want to pay him 1.8 million I, 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 rand? But here, here, mm. Here's a great example of a guy who, if he walked into a room in polite society, some people might even leave the room because micro lenders are dirty, nasty and bad. Mm -hmm. But Leon Kokinis, chief executive of African Bank Investments Limited, owns 2% of ABLE, mm -hmm. and it's historically paid a very decent uh, dividend, so he's had good income from his dividends. What does he earn relative to the average of his executives? Here's a quiz. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I give up. Higher? Would, would, he, uh, would he earn 50% higher? Would he earn the same? Or would he earn 50% less? I'll he should less. earn the same. You'd like to see the team. You would, li you would like to see everybody earning the same. That's what you would like to see. If it's more than that... Your mother-in-law social ascendancies are yeah. coming out of you. Then. If it's more than that, then it tends to be an autocratic head. Okay. Shall I tell so you? where is he? All right. So, if you look on average, mm. the executive directors at African Bank own between seven and eight, maybe some up to almost nine million rand. Leon Kokinis, last year, earned about two million. Because mm. he doesn't need it. And, and you say yes. to him, so why don't yeah. you earn more? He said, well, that'd be greedy. So are your executive directors greedy? No. Nope. He says very quickly, they don't they own the same number of shares as me. Well, of course, he got yeah. in at the basement level. Of course, Good he did. On that. And, and, and the shares are back there. But, but uh, <laughs> Chris Becker's the same? Well, Chris, Chris Beck is different in that he has worked mm. a very good and very effective share ownership mm. scheme, yeah. and he'll be paid in those shares, the incentive mm. for him. At what point does it become a, 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 mm. a non-issue, though? Because once you own a billion rands worth of shares or whatever it is, it's ego. do you stop caring? You know, that's why I think ego caring? gets in the way. Mm. And I, you'd like to have people not caring and really concentrate on the business. Buffett earns $100,000 a year. That's his salary. And yeah. Larry Ellison, yeah. just remind us, he Is earns he? like 80 odd million dollars a year, oh, but no. yet in stock, he earns 35% of Oracle. Why but, but, but why do you need to be paid at high level? I'm not of sure if Oracle pays shares. a dividend or not. I don't know. Okay, but still, come on. Yeah. No, you want to be, you you wanna be at the top of a Forbes list or something like Maybe. that. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, wants to be one of the it's top a, it's a big. Can't it's you buy your issue. own magazine and put yourself on top of that list? Mm -hmm. and then Magazines are going for a song now. By all accounts. Let's look at top winners and losers. A uh, top winner on the week, and there haven't been that many spectacular performances over this week, despite the nice Mr. Bernanke keeping the taps open.